Hi there guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to keep Casa OS up to date. Now, if you're new to my channel, my name is JC LaForge and I talk about home labs and all of the software that goes with it. If you are running Casa OS, you need to keep it updated for the latest features, security fixes and performance boosts. Let's get started, shall we? Hit that like button, subscribe and let's keep your server game strong. So here we are in my Casa OS instance. Now you might ask yourself, why bother updating? You can see here that we do have one update available. Updates bring three big wins. New features, better security and bug fixes. Plus, Casa OS is constantly evolving. Now before you go ahead and update everything, first we need to know the version we are running. So the first thing we're going to do is click on the settings icon here and look at the version. You should be able to see it immediately. In our case it's 0.4.13. There is another way to check the version you are running by going to the terminal. But in this case we're not going to use it and I don't recommend using this terminal. We're going to go, since I'm running it from Proxmox, we're going to go to Proxmox, but if you were running it on bare metal, you could just SSH in the machine itself and then see the version you're running. I'm gonna show you how. Let's go to PVE, which is my Proxmox instance, go to the Casa OS. This case is an LXE container running it. We're gonna run this command, Casa OS dash V. That should give us the version we are running. And as you can see, 0.4.13. And that's how you do it. The reason why you might want to check the version you are running is that there might be things that might break your system. And by going to the change log of the project, in this case, Casa OS, we can see in the next version what types of things that we're going to be updated or fixed and in that case we know nothing here is going to break our system for most users going into the settings and then going to update is super sufficient and there is nothing else you need to do but remember that most of these things can also be done via the command line do not attempt to update your casa os using this terminal either ssh or do it from somewhere else. Because when you're updating Casa OS, this tool is going to be broken as it might also get updated. And you don't want it to be the tool you are using to update Casa OS. In the guides, you can see here that they do not recommend. Do not run under the terminal from Casa OS UI because it kills the UI and thus the updates per C. Well, this doesn't make any sense to me, but you do understand. Please remember guys that when you are running Casa OS, you can do some of the things that we do in the GUI. We can also do it from the command line. And I'm going to leave the link below for the guides from Casa OS Wiki so that you can actually look at it and see if there isn't anything you can learn and do from the command line by yourself. Make sure you back up your home lab instance or that you're doing it in the lab environment. As you guys know, it's called a home lab. So do not do it in your prod uh, server as you might break things. If we go back to our update here, we can see that the update really is the is available and you can tell with the red dot here that is available. If we go back to the release here, we can look at the change log and we see that there is not really anything major that is available to this point. So all we have to do is go back to Casa OS, go to the GUI and click update. Before we do update now, the same change log shows up here and you can see there are a few things here including some language changes and some errors that have been fixed so in our case we're just going to do update now and this should take a few seconds assuming that everything went well this red dot should be gone normally for docker containers if you want to update them, what you do is you go to each of them and check for the update. But before you do that, make sure that the tag is set to latest. So what you would do is go to settings and make sure that this is set to the latest version. So if I go here and set it to this tag and save, it's going to go ahead and 
pull the last version and make sure it's up to date. So next time when I do a check for updates, it's going to check the last update of AdGuard and it's going to download it. Another way is to make sure you install Watchtower. Watchtower is a Docker container that can also automate your container updates or you can install a new app store called Casa OS TMC store which might help you to do that as well. If this video gets a lot of likes, I will create a new tutorial on how to set up the TMC store on Casa OS, which should be easy enough for you guys to do. Also, don't forget to update the machine where your Casa OS is running either the VM or the machine itself, or the operating system rather. So here I'm running it on a Ubuntu 23.10 and this command should suffice to make sure the machine is up to date. Is there anything that I've forgotten to include in this video? Put it in the comments below. That's been it for me. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, comment, like, and share this video. Thank you again. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.